hello what's up guys a guy from Z once again welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we are talking about document checklist all the necessary documents you have to take to the u.s embassy when you're applying for your b1 b2 visa interview so if you're ready for this video stay tuned welcome back guys once again to my channel so like I said before in today's video we are talking about all the important document you have to submit to the embassy when you're applying for your b1 b2 us visa interview so the b1 b2 visas are visas that are issued to non-immigrant who wish to stay in the united states for a temporary time the reason for their travel could be for tourism for visits for conference business conference or medical checkups there are two sets of documents you should have with you when you're applying for the b1 b2 visa they are the essential document and supporting document so under the essential document the first document you should have is the appointment confirmation page after you've been able to book an appointment at the u.s embassy there's a confirmation page that pops up on your screen make sure you save this confirmation page and print it and take it alongside when you're going for your visa interview at the various embassies the second one you should have is the ds160 confirmation page after applying for your visa online that's the completion of the ds160 form there's a page that pops up at the end of the form make sure you save this page as well and print it out when you're going for your visa interview next on the list is a valid passport so you're applying for a visa and you need a valid passport usually these passports should have validity not less than six months and if you have old passport make sure you take those passport alongside when you are going for your visa interview last on the list is a passport picture make sure you have a passport picture that wasn't taken more than six months ago and of course it should fit the u.s standards even if you're able to upload your picture during the ds-160 form failing make sure you have a hard copy with you when you're going for the interview the next set of documents are supporting document this might vary depending on the purpose of travel to the united states usually you should have an invitation letter if you're going to visit a family or a friend you should have an invitation letter from that particular person if you are going for a conference you should have an invitation from that conference you are going to attend so you should make sure you have a conference letter alongside when you're going for your interview second would be itinerary what are you going to do in the united states make sure you have a list of things you are going to do at the united states especially if you are going for tourism make sure you have everything planned out places you want to go places you would like to visit when you get a visa and if you are going for a conference probably a brochure from the company or the conference center will be a plus if you take it alongside to the embassy another important document you should have with you when you're going for the interview is accommodation usually if you are going to visit a friend or a family probably you will stay with them but if you are going for a tourism or conference you have to find an accommodation you have to book hotel or hostel make sure you have proof of reservation and take these documents alongside when you're going for your visa interview so one thing you should have is the id page of the person who has invited you if you've been invited by a family or a friend to come and visit you should have the information page of the person's passport or if the person is a green card holder you should have a scanned copy of this green card or if you're going for someone's graduation and the person is on a, on a student visa you have to make sure you have a copy or a scan form of their visa and attach it to your document when going for your visa interview next on the supporting document is proof of finance how are you going to support yourself financially if you go to the united states if you are sponsoring yourself you are supposed to provide documents like bank statements and pay slip to the embassy to show that you have some amount of money in your account if your trip is however sponsored by a friend or a family in the united states then you would need affidavit or support from that person and take this document to the embassy as a proof of financial support other documents like sponsorship letters if you are going for conference and this conference are being sponsored make sure you have document to prove all these things and any other document that you think can prove your financial ability in the country in which you are staying like proof of investment and other financial document last and one of the most important documents you should have a document that prove your ties back home is the united states and most people want to travel to the united states so you have to prove to the embassy that you have things that are holding you back in your country of residence probably a work contract or a leave contract from your workplace and if you're a student letters from your 
administration that shows that you are a student and in some cases documents of family like marriage certificate birth certificate of your children anything that can prove to the embassy that you are someone in the country which you reside in either you are working you're a student you're a family man or you owe business if you owe business make sure you have business documentation to prove that you owe certain business and these things can boost your chances of getting your visa so these are the documents you should have with you when you're going for your b1 b2 visa interview at the u.s embassy in my next video i'll post about most frequently asked questions during your b1 b2 visa interview if you find this video very educative and informative don't forget to like subscribe to my channel and share this content like always the name is promzy and i'm signing out peace